Hey everyone, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid, and we're in the second to last part, so stick around. In the meantime, we need to keep him here, but not outside. Go fucking crazy. Hmm. So and question. Holy crap, look at that, look at how long this video is, it's near the eyes of heaven level. <laughs> oh, just, just again, uh, that, that final part's gonna be a... Uh, something. Yeah, uh, question, do they, do you have to do this order, in order? Yes. They... Okay, because I was wondering, so like, do they make like five different cutscenes? No, <laughs> it's it's always left to right, and fuck, I wasn't fast enough. Uh. <laughs> Poor guy that works here, he keeps getting like killed because uh, he had a, he has to respawn there. Ah, uh, so it's starting nice, to thunder, nice. so you know, hopefully power doesn't go out. It probably won't, but <laughs> yeah. Shadow Moses must have some good health. If I if I suddenly yeah. disappear, that's what happened. <laughs> oh, thunder yep. and lightning! And now we very, have to walk all the way back to the furnace. Because uh, uh, we get to watch all of that. Oh, uh, uh, and we get to watch all the process of getting all the way back to the furnace. Well, there's some added stuff there, like uh, sentries in Vulcan Ravens area that got added like five minutes ago. I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. There are guards now in Vulcan in the area where you fought Vulcan. Which in reality it doesn't really mean much. It's just like, oh, okay, they're just there to slow you down slightly, but they walk in such a fucking obvious pattern it's kind of pointless. Do 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 snake man. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta think of a tangent while we wait on the while we wait on this bullshit. We're, we're, this is this is the probably the slowest part of the game. Uh huh. You know, I'm impressed that that chaff grenade went off. That's an unnecessary amount of turrets. <laughs> uh, to be fair, they're hiding a a literally a nuclear weapon, and that's the last area you need to go to. Not As cutting the part from behind, but there's no such kill as overkill. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, can't spell kill. You can't spell overkill without kill. And it's not like Metal Gear. It's not like how the Twin Snakes where the body will still linger for a bit. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Like the entirety of MG of Twin Snakes, uh, bodies don't disappear. Well, okay. Can, in but... specific, specific instances, they disappear. In instances where you're supposed they're supposed to be dead, they will disappear. Huh? Like um. Like when you first meet Meryl. Um, well, not when you. Like when Meryl. During that sequence where you're protecting Meryl and you're just firing at guards. Um, if you knock them out with either a tranquilizer or you kill them, their They'll bodies disappear. will disappear. But. Normal patrolling guards' bodies do not disappear. Because, you know, Gear Solid 2 engine. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, loading. Loading. Yeah. Climbing. There we go. Oh. More codex! Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Again? Okay, uh, off. Uh, no uh, listen, Snake, I, I was actually Sorry. really wrong about that. Turns out Naomi Hunter's actually innocent. <laughs> okay, so what's up? <laughs> I've got a good friend in the pen. Want a hamburger? Yeah. He's the one who told hey, you want a chemical it. burger? It the best burgers like in the world? Like, I was incredibly wrong. Turns out J Edgar Hoover was the wrong guy I was thinking of as a known racist. Have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? Man, this is where they first mentioned it. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were yep. talking about it. Yeah. It's well, the first time where they actually the talk about Fox Dye instead of just being, oh, it must be the Fox Dye. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say? It's too similar. Yes. DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus. I do like how, like, Liquid here is getting more, well, like a heart Miller here is getting more nervous. Yeah. Spoiler, by the way. Well, apparently, we learned yeah, it in spoiler. this episode, so it doesn't really, like, it's... By simulating a heart attack. No. The situation's getting more tense because he's realizing that his, that, uh, that shit's going, about to go down. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? Huh? machines. She was in the best position what? to have done it. But I don't know what her motive was. 
So yeah, anybody with fox die can become basically a living, breathing weapon. Okay, I'll ask him myself. What's new? Which makes you wonder: is fox die nano machines, or is it the last Plagos from five? Uh, well, last Plagos. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, kinda. Well, Las Plagas would would in, mean that if his head got blown up, that he would turn and like his head would he would grow a giant blade tentacle and stuff. I don't think that happens in uh, Metal Gear Solid. I know the parasite thing has a different name in five. It's just always reminding me of Los Plagas for some reason. Well, yeah, that version of Los Plagas uh, gives uh, gave they have more intelligence compared to the Plagas in four. Mm -hmm. Can't wait till we get to four. That's after Kingdom Hearts, right? Uh huh. I still need to be after this game because I haven't thought of anything yet. <laughs> I thought of Budokai, yeah, but, we're doing, but we're doing Xenoverse, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's... Yeah. In the meantime, I'll we'll casually crawl over here. Casually getting these Claymore. It's more like, I need to get that ration that's over here. Yum, yum. Or not. Oh, you capped out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Almost died there. Yeah, this is a very boring. If you're if you were saying it, like I should probably conserve my missiles, no, not really. You get plenty of missiles to fight. No. Uh huh. Oh. In fact, in fact, you should. In fact, I think the I think the fight itself supplies you with plenty of. I think it supplies you with missiles. The fight itself isn't really long if you know what you're run out. Really. Yeah. It's the final. It's just a final, final fight, just... which I fucking despise. I think you'll see the true colors of uh, my ranking at the end. Thankfully, that elevator suction is much faster for some reason. Mm hmm. Surprisingly, the, this loading screen is quicker than the last one. It's like they know what they're gonna hit you on the way back down, so they might as well spare you. Mm hmm. Because, <laughs> oh, I think this. I think what's coming up is gonna be the longest codec in the game. Yep. Explaining the entire story of Naomi Hunter. Mm hmm. So. Uh. Don't worry, guys. We won't we won't be seeing Naomi Hunter until Metal Gear Solid 4. A couple mentions in MJS 2, but yeah. Yeah, so, a full so conversation. Just dash with there, her. you can just get it. And now, uh. I'm just gonna rub now my back on the wall. <laughs> oh no, he's like that. He's like a bear. He's a bear. He's, he's trying to scratch his back. You, do you know how tight that sneaking suit is? Warm it up. Warm it up. He warm can't. It like... Up. Like, warm it up, boy. Nope. <laughs> the steam vents not help? No. Snake, steam, snake, versus, snake, steam vents no. hurt you in this game. Snake, you oh. can just, you know, scratch your ash normally. Yeah, but you know how tight that sneaking suit is on him? Yeah, like, he doesn't have. He doesn't have. Like the movement to scratch his ass. At least I don't think. <laughs> Gotta get that one itch on his back that's being, uh, that's being like, uh, that's in the, because there's a belt buckle in the way of that, that part of the back you can't scratch. I hate this section. Like, it's just padding. It's padding oh, complete and padding. Here, but whatever, it's there. Yeah. I have to sit here and wait. Wait. There we and go. wait. Ah, uh, we're good. And now I just make um, the dash to the uh, thing here, and uh, we get now go. Now go through three cold areas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bonzi! No, what you should have done is hopped into the lava. That would have made it instantly hot. <laughs> that would have given you the ultimate heat. You want it hot? Bloop. Terminator Two, this bitch. And more load screens. <sighs> I could have used a cigarette, but nah. 
But smoking's bad for your health. Mm-hmm. When do they Here put the armor? Go. I don't know. You might as well do you mean you got nothing else to do, so mm -hmm. uh think through all of Bastion and Kingdom Hearts one was boring. Yeah, thankfully this two is as long as this one, and that's all that matters. Yeah, luckily after this is when we finally get to the end section of this. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the end section yet. Almost yeah, there. this man. Like I said Hollow ba I mean Hollow Bastion is still pretty damn boring. It's like a 15-minute trog through the whole place, and you have to do it again for the revisit. Mm -hmm. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the uh, uh, Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But can buy that stuff? Into genetics was true. Cause you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. I don't know. My, my age, Maybe Fonzie can knows again. <laughs> <laughs> I was found in Rodinus sometime in the eighties. Dirty little orphan. Dirty little orphan. Exposition, <laughs> exposition. Yes. Why is this thing well, at the end? And... Until nineteen sixty-five, and there were lots of Indian laborers. Cause this is filler. <laughs> Feeling up the time. Why didn't we not see a young version of Han Metal Gear Solid 5? What, what, what the fuck happened to a uh, to, uh, Grey Fox that apparently took place in the 80s? <laughs> so, alright, so did you get. So, did people want to know more about Naomi Hunter? Uh, here you go. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. By the way, your elevator ride ended 10 minutes ago and your card's gone back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the ultimate dick move if it had done that. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and then he goes back and then he goes back and goes again. He's like, oh, by the way, stay. Damn. Then, thankfully, fucking, for some reason, time just freezes when you're doing this shit, so. By the way, like, it's been it's been talked about with codec conversations. It just like it. Uh, I on the outside, it just kind of most likely looks like that Snake is just standing there because vibrating the part of your ear to be able to communicate with other people. I don't I don't know. I mean, that does kind of work. <laughs> you're yeah. It's like you're you're basically almost almost telepathically communicating with someone. So imagine just a camera seeing Snake just standing, just sta standing there. I'm just wondering how the fuck they get like the actual like reaction images from the codec. Did that right. get explained? So were your prayers answered? I I don't know. Yes, I waited too long years. Does they someone hint that they can see each other, but sometimes they don't? Yes, that's right. Yeah, I. Do they even do they even try to explain Kodak any further in MGS2? No. Some kind of twisted obsession. All right. It just it's it's just more of a use in MGS2. Yeah. I think in MG and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, they uh, a portable screen pops up next to their head. Where, where they can video chat each other, but that's that's revenge. That takes place in twenty sixteen. That's yeah, twenty sixteen. Who also had a, had a somebody that wanted to make America great again. <laughs> oh man, that's... nano machine son. <clears throat> Don't fuck with that senator. <laughs> we played college ball. Yeah. I can't oh wait my to get god. To you know what? I fucking love I'd Rising. I'd vote for him. Tell me 
I'd vote for Sinner Armstrong. Armstrong. Box die. You know, yeah. When we do Rising, I'll do the other DLCs too. Oh, oh, uh, with Jetstream me. Sam and, um, and Wolf. Jetstream Sam? Oh. Uh, Jetstream Sam is like the best. Oh, I love Platinum Games. <laughs> Platinum Games knows how to make a character with the best shit eating grin ever. <laughs> and it's ready for Bayonetta 3. <laughs> yep. Bayonetta 3. Oh, uh. Platinum, but no suit 51 is like there's going to be a uh, no, no more heroes 3. Oh, yeah, by the way, they're explaining Fox die. Yeah, this isn't really important. So, Fox, yeah, Fox die goes for specific people's like they go to their DNA, never affect anyone else, but they target specific people. Wedge does kind of sound like the parasites from five. Yeah. Well, the parasites are a pre, pre thing to nano machine, basically. I don't blame you for wanting me dead. Because nano mode is, in MTS. How old is uh, Snake supposed to be at this point in time? In here, um. Listen, Snake. I want to say he's in his forties. Twenty forties. Uh, here, you know what? Let's thirty forties. Let's go. Let's Google. Is that the thing that's it's kind of hard to get information because again, this takes about ten years after Metal Gear Two. You know no. Yeah. The only time he starts looking old is in MGS Four. And Metal Gear Solid One and Metal Gear One takes place in the late late eighties. So. Should we uh should we tell Snake that we've in engineered him to be uh. You know, this is basically his last prime. <laughs> yep. So in Metal Gear Solid one, Metal Gear One, he's 23. Metal Gear Two, Solid Snake, he's 27. Metal Gear Solid One, he's 33. Uh, MGS Two, he is, and in MGS Four, he's in his 40s. Yeah. But obviously, because of the advanced aging, he has he has, yeah. he has the look of a fucking 80 year old. 70 year old man. The mustache that Burt uh, that Burt Reynolds would be proud Did of. Did they ever give a good reason for that? Yeah. He's a clone. He's a clone, man. Oh man. Fall off clones. Uh, or at least that's really, how but... that's how a lot of clones work is that once they've reached a specific age, they age rapidly at a very rapid pace. Yeah, but he's like a clone in like the loosest sense of the word. Yeah. Huh? Either way, hey, it, 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 it'll be explained once we ha hop on top of Metal Gear Rex. He's going to get that captain and I'm like, all right. So here's when we actually Done get with to this. the actual good part. You so, know, after getting exposition about Fox die from Naomi, after learning just, more about that, that Naomi's extra, life was a lie. We're going to get that extra chaffer Yeah, we're going to get that. Uh... I mean... I mean, like, <laughs> um, he, he that, was that's just like another thing. He was basically like born and see pretty much normally. They just changed away the DNA, DNA so it'd be like 99% big boss. Well, then it was also Solidus who yeah. looked older, like altogether. So, and he yeah. was a perfect clone of Big Boss. That's... So, mm hmm. But that's always been the thing about clones, is that they age at a faster rate than a normal human does. I mean, that's a sci-fi clone thing, but... <laughs> I mean, Metal Gear Solid, at the end of the day, is a sci-fi movie. Oh, yeah, it's a sci-fi yeah. movie at the end of the day. I think they call uh, it, I think they call it uh, uh, like, tactical fiction, I think? Uh, or... tactical, yeah, most likely. It's it's a combination of sci-fi and espion, and just espionage movies. Mm -hmm. The sci-fi elements being like psychic, having stuff like psychics and cloning. Then you get MGS3, which is a Bond film. <laughs> <laughs> MGS4, which is Depression Simulator 20, uh, 20, 
16, whatever year that, whatever year MGS4 came out. You have six chin because you are old. Let's see how hard we can. Min let's see how hard we can try to do cry. I should actually finish four. I've never finished four. <laughs> I hear, I hear it's got. It's, it also has one of the stronger endings. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Guys? Yo? Is, is it just me and you? I think so. It seems like it. Okay. Fonzie's muted. I don't know what's going on with Kazan. It... Yeah. Um... Uh, yep. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I go rush to something, man. Here we are. The final fucking palatine. The horrible nightmare is over. Yep. Hope you guys are ready for some more exposition and uh, an actual cool ass boss fight. Mike. Mark. Yay! So I just lost all track for the video we're at. <laughs> oh, I had, to, I had to hop out real quick. Uh, uh, twenty-one thirty-five six seven. Okay. Twenty-one thirty. All right. Uh, I'll just go twenty-two minutes. What's going on? Wait. Uh, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. Yep, and now we're getting more experience from Master Miller. Yeah. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally... There's a lot of exposition. Mm-hmm. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. The threat of a nuclear strike. Our we were worried you couldn't do it. We were scared that we might have accidentally killed you. <laughs> Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you. So we decided to drop all these chaff grenades and guns and stuff so that you'd have an easier time. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter. Thanks yeah. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just put the detonation code? Huh? You didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon... Yeah, so it's sad to say that Master Miller is dead, the capital D. You thought it was Master Miller, but it was me, Rickward. It was me, Dio, Brando. <laughs> and you thought the game was cheapening out by having the same voice actor do two different characters. Nah. Yeah, Cam Clark, <laughs> Cam Clark is the best. Yeah. This actor pseudonym he went by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my hmm. link with the master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. You guess. You get us from. You've been talking to. I do like this animation, though. Conor Dioda! That's pretty much what sums, what sums it up right there. Conor Oh, fuck, he does look a bit like Dio. <laughs> oh, dude. It's even worse in Twin Snakes, man. Uh, he, he's got, like, he... he <laughs> the models are... He, the models. Oh, yeah, no, the facial models in uh, Twin Snakes are great. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna just blow this one stop. up, and then, uh... Call it Deep Throat. <laughs> I accidentally called Nastasha. <laughs> Snake, 
<laughs> that is high grade poisonous gas you are breathing in now. What do you think? I can do something about it. No! <laughs> uh, no, I can't do shit. <laughs> and then Fonzie accidentally hurt me. <laughs> I accidentally hit myself like an idiot. Alright. <laughs> that, that brings the counter to five. <laughs> All right. Oh man. And now it's time to end this time fucking end game. This fucking game. And by end the game, uh, we have a boss fight, and then uh, we have the final. We have the grand finale. So. Oh wow. Mhm. Mm and a lot of cutscenes in between. Wait, wait, he was right there. I mm. ah, better check on him, make sure he dies. Oh fuck, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> Me. To be fair, that's kind of the only thing he did to disguise himself was just put sunglasses on. Again, how the fuck did Codex work, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, so how can he tell... whatever. <laughs> I could just see, like... <laughs> like Ocelot just looking like, do you do you really need the like the glasses? You're just talking to him via pet phone. No. Yeah. I need those seven hundred dollar fucking shades. I need I need those designer shades. I gotta look as much like uh, Miller as possible. How much are the cow? All right. How much are the cause gears? Uh, too much. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't need. Uh, five hundred dollars. Ew. Ew. I could, I could buy a Switch for that. You can buy them for 50 bucks on the actual <laughs> website. You can buy a Switch and two, and maybe two games with that. Yeah, you can get, you can buy them for around... Uh, 52 euros? Huh. 52 euros? That sounds more reasonable. God, he does so what, do I have to, what, 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 what do I have to do things for? I don't know. I'm just gonna send Medicine Lee next to this uh, Metal Gear. This robot. This giant thing. That's no, too bad there's no vaccine for this, uh, for this disease. You know, there's not really, there can't really be a cure for a disease that specifically attacks DNA. Also, it's programmed to specifically target some people. Why would you make a vaccine for it? Yeah. <laughs> we want our enemies dead. We don't want them loving. <laughs> yeah, man. I demanded a vac vaccine. Well, I mean, you've got about 30 minutes. <laughs> Come up with something, some kind of bullshit. <laughs> you, could you could make a new fox die that kills the old fox die. Says with a big Grinch grin. And here we go. Liquid who doesn't know anything about genes. Who knows I nothing about the concept of genetics? Isn't blonde hair dominant? It is. I'm like, I have all the recessive genes. Why, like, what little you genes have. That he has all the recessive genes. Yeah. But why, but why, does, why is his hair blonde? Oh. My, my head canon is Oswald told him all this just for a laugh. Probably. Yeah, he took it too he do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> knowing knowing Shalashaska, he would. <laughs> he just be like, he just like he stickered like, yeah, you you got the you got the recipes. <laughs> and what you can't see in the background is Oswald Ray Ray Body Binoculars just laughing his ass off at all that. <laughs> <laughs> high five, oh. <laughs> hey, high five, ba oh. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. 
Unlike you, I'm proud of being, of having the dominant gene. Like, that's still, like, that, like he does not know anything about the concept of fucking genetics. <laughs> so good. Uh, it's so stupid now, love it. Yeah. <laughs> This is a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. You are really a Metal Gear. Right. Right. Exactly! A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. So I have a purpose. <laughs> Which, oddly enough, the design of Sahelanthropus, he has the head of Metal Gear Rex. <laughs> Curse you, Kojima, and weird design. Ah, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. This is the first Metal Gear. No. Thoranthropus was the first Metal Gear. No. <laughs> this thing has a penis. Oh, yeah, that's right. It has a uh, penis machine gun. And a giant rail cannon. Rail gun. <laughs> Well, technically, if you're going by the timeline, the boss is the first Metal Gear. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Welcome to Metal Gear Rex. This fight can either be easy as ass or fucking horrible as Did ass. Because uh, the worst thing about him is those uh, knee missiles. Yeah, hurt the knee missiles a suck. Lot. Yeah, by, the way, by the way, did Metal Gear Rex just roar? Yeah. Why well, does it roar? Rex. Yeah, but, uh, because what, because Otacon designed it. <laughs> what, why does like every robot in the Metal Gear series roar? It's a robot. So we have There's to shoot. You have to shoot the radar thing or radome, whatever. Yeah, that is. That's yep. what it is. It's, that is his radar so there, thingy. So the best trick you can do to take the least amount of damage in this fight is just stay near him. Hey, hey, uh, you so know what, what I just noticed, Fonzie? Mm. It can't be detected by radar. Check out your Soliton radar. <laughs> you mean I it mean, can't be detected? I mean the missile itself, but <laughs> it's like it can't be detected by radar. Well, it's the, detected. They're, they're more talking about the missile in reality. Yeah, the, the dummy, the nuclear warhead, not the yeah. dummy warhead. And it, all it has is that smidge of health left that I can't aim out of. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Luckily, in Twin Snakes, you, I think you can shoot the missiles out of the sky with uh, your FAMAS. That's I know it's really much easier in Twin Snakes. I know it's much easier in Twin Snakes because I think it just controls better. Yep. This is honestly one of the best cutscenes in the game, though. Oh yeah. Here comes our Gray Fox. Our missing Gray Fox. And people say Metal Gear, and people say Metal Gear Solid 4 was ridiculous when Raiden hold, held up a ship. Metal Gear Solid 4 is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but this guy was like hold, held up the foot of a giant ass robot. Look, we all know a fucking great hacker will not have a fucking Macintosh. That's just fucking insane. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Also, have an Apple iPod to help your psyche. That's different. Music is music. I'm not gonna just like having a fucking. Yeah. A, 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 a fucking uh, a Mac. Mac Pro Tower. Like, uh, what are you trying to do? Like, hack or write a screenplay? Come on, man. <laughs> trying to write that book you've been working at for years. Does it ever explain where he has that gun? Or where he got that gun? Nope. All right. In the meantime, Metal Gear is just great wrecking shit in the background, so... Yeah, it's kind of losing its mind while we're just having, a, like, a conversation. So, yeah. 
Just about. You know that's. You know you really you well, really. There's, there's some more ammo that I'm not gonna go get. Yeah. Well, what what is that? What kind of ammo is that? It's it's stinger missile ammo. <laughs> you see that floating spinning box over there? I will say I'm I'm actually really glad. Like I, one of the funniest jokes uh from Conker's Bad Fur Day is how they explained why the cho all the chocolate uh floats in the game. Because yeah, uh. Doctor. Yeah, Doctor. Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Cripple. Uh. Oh, Professor Von Cripplesack uh, is like anti-gravity chocolate. It just throws it out, and that's how you you just has anti you just have anti-gravity chocolate. Hell. You hear that, Anthony? Yep. Like how the the cockpit is in the mouth of, of uh, the t like is in his mouth. In reality, he would probably he'd probably kill one person, like you know. I mean, he's already dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for some he's stupid reason, like, kill me. Uh. I can't kill you. Press star one, Fonzie. If I do, I, it, if I do press R1, it gets away with the thing. I have to press square. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Snake, launch the singer. No balls. No balls. <laughs> Eat. Rushed. Well, he's dead anyway. You could have done it, but no. Eat. Well, we're mostly tools of the government. We're also the tools of a uh, of a highly advanced AI system. Unlike those patriots. The what? <laughs> For the lolly <laughs> Did did the world just get cast? Oh. <laughs> Dude, that thing roars like the Quanasaurus Rex from Power Rangers Time Force. <laughs> Which I think came out at the same time. Foolish man. I like to think Metal Gear Rex makes like a... His mouth is just wide open, just like... Ah. <laughs> Alright, now, right, now that we pumped a uh, shit ton of muscles to the radar... Now we have to pump a lot of a lot of missiles to the uh, to our to, good old brother right to there. liquid, to liquid himself. What's up? And just walk hey. closer. You walk clo also, yeah. He ha oh no, it's a penis laser. It's not a penis machine gun. Yeah, no. There's a difference. <laughs> he has eye, he has eye machine guns. So, question: mm -hmm. What happens if you actually do fire at Gray Fox? And nothing. You can't. You're like, like yeah. legitimate. Oh come on, Snake! All right, you know what? You're half the man Big Boss was. Yeah, yeah. He he did. He you can't pull the trigger. Like no matter how hard you mash square, he was like, I can't do it. Which they, which they do a callback in uh, MGS4, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. Mhm. Mm Big Boss was able to kill Boss. <laughs> All right, and now and now like I could just like say fucking and just, but I can't aim that high. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Go gung ho with those stingers. All right, and I got hit anyway. Zavardo. <laughs> Ow. Hey, Hal. Do you want? Do you want to know why Liquid lost this battle? <laughs> because, he pissed, because he pissed. Uh, he pissed Solid Snake off. <laughs> Please. Better than MGS, oh. better than Twin Snakes, where he jump, where he jumps at the foot of, uh, jumps at uh, where he tries. The first tactic he does is jump straight at the robot and he kicks him to the wall. All right. 
So it's time for the second to last expedition dump. Welcome. All right. We'll see you in the finale, everyone. Hope you all enjoy it. We'll see you at the end. Welcome to Dio's mansion.